What up? This is Jordan with a video. How to be successful in 2020. If you want to be successful and thrive in 2020, you need to adopt these strategies and habits into your routine if you want to live your best life in 2020. So the first strategy and habit that you need to do is to create a vision board. When you create a vision board, you are priming your subconscious mind to take the necessary steps on which you set to achieve. And so creating a vision board will help you remember the, the guideline steps and the actions that you need to make in order to achieve your primary goals, in order to achieve success and keep working on it. So a vision board is always a good step to achieving your goals. The second strategy to do is to Start journaling, write in your notebook journal on what you set to achieve, what you want to create and manifest. And then once you journal what you want to do, this will prime your subconscious mind. It's like, I want to start an online business. And so what do I need to do to create the necessary steps? You start getting these ideas and you write them in your journal and you read it every single day. While journaling, your new ideas on what you want to create and manifest, this will help you take action in no time. And so journaling and creating a vision board are the first things that you need to do. The third step is to take action. Don't just sit around and wait for the new year to start. Start now. We get so excited around this time of year, around New Year's every year, saying that we're going to make a change in our lives and we're going to do better we say that until the new year is over and then once all the holidays holidays are over and new year's ends we go back to our mundane lives and we just don't take any action to achieve those goals either because we set too many goals and try to achieve them all at once we don't have a strategy on how we're going to achieve them or we get lazy and just don't take any action at all. And the thing is, you have to take action. And you have to stick with your plan. And if you want to achieve a goal in 2020, don't set too many goals for yourself. Because when you set too many goals for yourself to achieve, you're setting yourself up for disappointment and failure. So write as many goals down as you want but focus on one goal at a time in order to achieve one and then once you achieve that goal you can work on achieving the other ones that you set to achieve but focus on one goal first and take action don't sit around and wait take action now by taking action now you are preparing yourself for success and you are taking the necessary steps you need to do to get to where you want to be so sitting around and daydreaming about it is one thing, but you need to take the necessary steps to achieve your goal if you want to live your best life and be successful. And you have to set one goal at a time, achieve one goal at a time, and then achieve the others, and you'll see yourself succeed. The fourth step is to Keep trying. There are going to be obstacles. There are going to be setbacks and there are going to be limitations, but you have to be strong mentally to overcome them. There will always be obstacles. There will always be setbacks. But instead of asking yourself, why is this happening to me? Ask yourself is what is this teaching me and how do I overcome it in a different way? How do I use my strategy and skills to overcome the situation that I'm facing? And how do I overcome the obstacle? Ask yourself that question. And then your mind will give you some strategy ideas on how to overcome the situation. And you'll start getting to work on how you can overcome the situation and you'll thrive right past it. You're going to fall down. You're going to fall. You're going to fall a hundred times, probably even a thousand, but as long as you keep trying and don't give up and you keep your eye on the prize, you will get through that obstacle and overcome it and go to the next level. Just keep pushing, keep pushing.
Don't give up. And another thing you need to do is to, what's the fifth step? Is to take a break from your phone. The first thing that everybody does in the morning is to go on their phone and scroll through social media, looking at what everybody else is doing and seeing if we got any notifications from our app. And I'm not judging anybody for doing this because I do it too. I'm guilty of this as well. But when it comes to waking up early in the morning, try not to go on your phone and scroll through Instagram or Facebook because you'll be on that thing for like two hours scrolling through the internet when you could have been taking the necessary action steps to achieve what you want to achieve. And it's a big distraction. Like I like playing on my phone. I like the apps and everything and the games and stuff, the fun stuff and getting paid and all that. But it's a distraction and it's keeping you from living your best life. One of the main reasons why people aren't living their best life and don't achieve their goals is because they get distracted with their phone. They're trying to see what everybody else is doing on social media. And the goal is to focus on yourself. Put your phone on do not disturb mode. If, you, if there's something that you need to do, do that first before going on your phone. Because let me tell you is that you can become a drone bot if you spend too much time on your phone. And so it's very healthy to take a break from your phone. This way, you're not only giving yourself a break from worry and drama. It is also good for your mental health as well. So instead of hopping on your phone, start taking the necessary steps on what you need to achieve to be successful and get to work right away. And then once you finish what you're doing, then you can start playing on your phone and use it for whatever it is that you do. And I know this can be tough because a lot of us nowadays use our careers with our phones. We work on our phones We use our phones as phones to do our jobs and everything. You know, social media, the internet has become a powerful tool to expand and make our lives the be our lives better than it was before. So some of us use our phones for our career because we're social media marketers or we're social media content creators. So I understand, but... Try to find a mental step to take a break from your phone. Like try meditating. And you'll do just fine. And what's the fifth step? Did I do, was that number five or was that number six? And number six will be to, hmm, what is number six? Question number six, strategy number six. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want to succeed? Do you really want to be successful or are you just saying that? Because those who truly want to be successful will do anything they can to reach their goal and will stay focused and not get distracted. And so you got to want it bad enough in order to manifest the life that you want. So... The goal is to stay focused and keep that vision clear on what you want. Stay focused, don't get distracted, and don't give up during the first obstacle. And what is number seven? Oh, yes. Don't let other people distract you from your vision like if you got family or if you got friends that want to spend time with you tell them that i'm busy right now and i'll catch up with you guys later i gotta focus on this one thing and i'll catch up with you guys later stay focused on what you're doing if you people if they are your true friends they'll understand but tell them that you got some 
work that you got to get done and then you'll catch up with them later. And strategy number eight is to be patient. Great things take time. Sure, you won't see any results right away, but keep having patience. You'll eventually get there. Rome wasn't built in a day. And so know that your dream and vision will soon manifest and come true. Just have patience and relax. Take a deep breath. And just know that it will come. And then strategy number nine is to, you did it. You accomplished what you wanted to achieve in 2020. And you are living your best life. And you can sit on the beach with your laptop, working on your online business, sipping an umbrella drink. If that's what you want to manifest in 2020, you can do it. You can do anything that you set your mind to. You are a powerful creator. There's no more excuses. There's no reason that you can't manifest and live the life that you want in 2020. So if you want to live your best life, I suggest you start being serious and start taking action and being real with yourself. And not giving up because it's too hard. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share it on different platforms. Please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Y'all have a great night and a happy 2020. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.